stereotype there's a certain type of girl that are always the good relationship girls like the gamer girls the girls that were maybe ugly ducklings in high school do you think there's like a subcategory of woman that ends up becoming a really good like girlfriend or wifey because of something that they went through at from say 14 to 18 i feel like i answered this i don't remember what i said i'm gonna say a bottle girl yeah bottle yeah. bottle girls and nightlife girls because we get all the attention jr i hope you're not fucking watching right now <laughs> we get all the attention we're working so late i would get home at 8 a.m after closing a shift we we would get attention at work we wouldn't seek it anywhere else yeah like it wasn't we had to post on instagram or else we were fired okay that's another misconception you see the girls with the booty pics i'm curious what their caption says does it say come see your girl it's probably for work yeah it has fired. to do with something like that yeah yeah so it's like there there are those girls they're really about the money and they have the most disposable income next to drug dealers. So they're actually willing to spend it on men. That's JR is watching because he just texted me. JR, do not listen there. He's, he's, he's our other producer. He's going to show up later tonight. But he uh, he really likes the bottle girls. And I'm really trying to get him to stop chasing the bottle girls. Cause, because you got to understand. They're beautiful. But, so, but, but they're very good at finessing. And I, I know this because I'm friends with a lot of them. They're very good. Because like this is what happened over the last decade was – women like like people start going out more like it's, it's more the club industry and now like you know that they have to promote and that's how most of the guys it's a lot of single guys that go to these clubs and then sometimes a bunch of girls that are actually in relationships or something but they're lying to all these dudes finessing them telling them to come buy bottles so they can make extra money i think you have but in it, reality not all the time i think you have it mixed like uh, the girls that have boyfriends they tell them they have boyfriends it, it increases your tips more what? yeah girl, I, girl game I don't think that at and all. And it's this is I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, some girls will play the single thing, and that plays into the whole like uh, the well, who is that one Twitch streamer who like everybody thought she didn't have a boyfriend, then her husband screaming. Oh, at her. um, fucking uh, 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 God, the one that was really big. Amelie. Uh, uh Am Amaranth. Yeah, Am Am Amaranth. Yeah. Something. And, weird. and they happened. It also happened to the other girl. Fucking um. I can't think of her fucking name, but it's so, happened to multiple girls on Twitch. So high value men love the fact that a girl's in a relationship. They want her more. I thought I These could have swore that it ruined their money when that shit came out. Depends. I'm pretty sure they Only, talked about maybe, how it must their maybe money. Maybe at up. fucking Hooters. I'm talking with millionaires. I, I know. I'm saying on the Twitch girls. I remember the them Twitch talking about how they started losing money whenever it came out that they had men. Women are so manipulative. You that's think they're a, lying to make more money? That's yeah. a fucking QVC like <laughs> tip, my ass. True. Like, yeah. No. It is. That, I would say the same thing because I'd get more. I get more money. Then. And here's yeah. the thing: is like when I I would bottle the celebrity tables, but I would bartend most of the time. So they would have me bottle if they had like Ti. Uh, Waka Flocka, GC, those guys, whatever. And if a lot of times they wouldn't tip because the bottles were comped and I'd be like a $1,000. Uh, so I'm not finessing you. I'm telling you. Yeah. Take, take what you will. No, but I, I, Would you rather a girl's honest? I just think that that's uh, like I said, I have tons of the friends that are bottle girls and I know so many guys in the discord who get messaged by them to come and stuff like that. And I've seen we some of these messages. To, I've seen how it is. We have to make a guest list, but it feels finessing. Like it feels very robbery sometimes. If we don't do a guest list, we're fired and we're not fired. Like you got two weeks. You're just not put on the schedule yeah. and you don't know if like you fucked up. It was it this, was it that you have, to, we get not paid per head that's more promoters but if you don't bring in like a 20 to 30 person guest list you're out no. you're fucking out i don't know how so dallas is at all to, I, I would i would go on tinder and get people you know what i mean yeah. like i would love to see how dallas is seen where i wish one of my homegirls was able to come tonight so we could talk about it i worked in houston so the company i worked with heart uh heart what was it? clay clay they also have places in dallas they operate very similarly. Yeah, they, like, yeah, that's how it is. They all own a bunch of the different places together. They're a lot more. They value women's looks a lot more here, for sure. I and the femininity. Like back in Chicago, it was like, oh, you got to hustle. Vegas, you're on your own, baby. Like I, when I originally started this show, I don't know why, but I thought that I was gonna be able to prove that there was a bunch of uh, girls that are like actually uh, girlfriend material here, and I proved my fucking self wrong. Like there was so many more girls that like were way worse than i thought like it was it's mm. way different I, I i would like to think that we're in a good conservative state but i mean there's a reason why dallas and fort worth are the two biggest cheating cities in 
the nation, are you know? They? Yeah, if you look it up, it is. The, num the number one and number two. I bartenders are the most likely to cheat. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I didn't know that. Here, pull those super chats back up. My bad, bro. I was not about to get back like, to it. Like, we beat strippers. That's insane to me. Yeah. Uh, $10 from Mary G. Thank you so much, bro. There's a recent trend of women regurgitating black pill MGTOW talking points. Would you say the manosphere is on a decline? Shout out to Torsha and happy birthday, Sergio. Thank you so much, bro. Um, there's a trend of women regurgitating black pill MGTOW talking points. What do you think? Uh, I, I, I Would you say the manosphere is on a decline? I they I agree with the first part. There's definitely a trend. I do my best to gatekeep. I'm that bitch. I'm like the I, like the worst. You're gatekeeping part. it for the men? Yeah, like I'm. I'm Stop I, gatekeeping it. No, like I'm saying, I don't want it to get sanitized with like the either feminine centric language that would make them feel better, or get it misconstrued as black pill, and then somebody shoots up a school, and that's us now. Yeah. When it was the nihilistic dude. So, but what, like, why, why gatekeep this from women though? If we not can make the world better, not gatekeep from women. I'm saying correcting. Like, I mean. Maybe that's not the right word. I always thought that meant to like preserve. So I'm trying to preserve the original message yeah. with respect to the people that came before me. And they had talked about how people would try to change it. Mm -hmm. And you see that because if you, Steven Pinker talks about this, uh, uh, like when it comes to language, we always will try to change it. And mm -hmm. it's just a product of evolution. It's a, we're in an emergent universe. Things are constantly changing. Yeah. But if we can't even afford men the same rights as women what makes you think that we should be changing anything for the woman in this space this is the only space that is direct like it is all for men first and foremost when the women start to understand it then like we can come to a compromise but until you even understand men's struggles i don't think that putting a pink fucking bow on it's gonna do anything hoes but as a red pool woman you know like like, what do you think about how I try to uh, red pill the women? I, you know, I, I I always talk shit on a like gatekeeping, which is like because I don't like because you'd be surprised how many comments I get from guys that are like, "Why are you teaching this to women? Women shouldn't know I this. It's just you. gonna make them take advantage of us more." I get some crazy shit, and it's just like that's gate. Those guys are gatekeeping the information. Like the way is like for thousands of years. The, the smartest people or the people running things, they gate kept information yeah. to be able to control things. I'm not going to gatekeep these facts from women whenever, I, because not, that's controlling. I'm not but if saying I show, keeping if, it from yeah. women. I'm not saying keeping it. But just it. make sure it's the exact praxeology, the right way of saying it, like so then girls, they don't do the wrong thing. If girls are going to regurgitate it, know your material and know it well but what about not even regard like say the lessons i try to do where i bring girls here i say you, you would never come back would you bring another single girl with you and i want to teach them these things they're not regurgitating they're not exactly going out here and making youtube channels and shit like but that so am i making the world better by at least teaching these women these red pill well, facts? first you asked me like like i was talking about his thing like yeah. there's a recent trend of women regurgitating so i have, yeah. i assumed it was on youtube maybe it wasn't yeah 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 Girls, like, no, I don't think what you're doing is wrong. I don't think that it's, like, that's what, that's a good thing. I think it is a good thing to wake women up to it because that gives women, like, right now, women don't realize they have a choice. They don't and, have the tools. Well, like, they're in their peak and nobody's honest with them. Remember? Like you were saying, everybody lies to y'all. Yeah. Shout out Ryan Stone, baby. <laughs> Women's Ryan. relationship advice is garbage. He's like, in it, he's like, Men that want to sleep with women will tell them what they want to hear so they can. They will lie to you because they want you. And then uh, men men who love you will lie to you because they don't want to hurt you. Something along the lines. And then women who women who are friends with you or something like are will lie to you because they are conflict averse. And then women that are jealous of you will lie to you because they don't want you to be better. So men that want to fuck you will lie. Men that love you lie. Mm -hmm. Men, women that love you lie. And yep. women that hate you lie. Guys, if where, you're a woman, you're lied to where, all day. But like, explain to me who's going to tell them this truth. Well, I do. Uh, like I, I, at the end of every one of my shows, every one of them, I always say, guys, I'm talking to you like the reason why I'm an asshole to you right now compared to every other man is because I'm talking to you like your father, your brother, your uncle. I don't give a fuck about fucking any of y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm here just to tell y'all this truth and I don't give a fuck what you think. And you know what? <laughs> they got a thousand other dudes telling them the fucking opposite. Yeah. 